I come from the municipality of Odense and we have 187 inhabitants and we are a university city and we have more than 500 kilometers of cycle path. So we have good infrastructure but we also have the Danish climate which could be cold, wet, wet and windy. So this is just a map showing the whole municipality and how the cycle path is, uh, is planned. We have a vision that says that we would make a city where it's easy, it's safe and it's comfortable to cycle. So, um, one year ago uh, we found out that the statistics shows that when people have more than 5 to 10 kilometers to go to work, the chance they would choose a bike is very lower than if they have shorter distances. And at the time the e-bike was starting to get an image that you have to have a bad knee or a bad back to use it or be an older person. And we want to have, we would like to help the e-bike to get an image that you could use it when you just had too long a distance to go on a normal bike without having to put a shower in the end to be at work. Um, so we start a campaign where we had, we bought 100 e-bikes, which we want to lean out to uh, people who were going to work, student or older people. So, Monday morning the, in November, I went on the radio and, and made an announcement for this campaign. So it was at the time where people were sitting in their car, in the line, waiting to get into the city. And it was very effective. Um, so, in one week, we had more than we had 600 people signing up for this competition, and we had 100 bikes. So it was not easy, difficult to find them. The good thing was that our local newspaper thought it was a good story. So then they went out for a ride with me and told the, about the experience, how it was to ride this bike. And then in the middle of the week, our local uh, TV station said. Oh, there's a story here. We want to be a part of it. So they had one of the people who would be in the um, um, campaign, and he went into the office and then tried the e-bike. So they get a first response: How does this feel? Is this working for you? Do you feel you could use this? And he was very enthusiastic. And it was very important for us to get in the get publicity about this because a hundred people changing their way of, of uh, transport is not a lot but if we could get people the image or the idea that maybe this could work for me too and I could buy this bike myself we will ch um, make different uh, way of, of doing that for a lot of more people so we made a parade when we start the campaign and the local uh, TV station were there as well. And then we had the coldest winter for 30 years. <laughs> so it was not a very good start. But even though we asked the people uh, after um, two and a half months, um, how often do you use the bike? And um, a little more than half of them answered our questions. So it was very good that 44% said we use it four or five times a week. Uh, and then we ask them, do you use it for other purpose than to go to work? And um, some of them did, some of them didn't, and some of them did, um, no, once in a while and never. So only four never used it for other purposes. And then we ask them, do you feel any difference uh, in your way of, uh, the way you, um, you feel, or, and 31 of them said, yes, we do feel a different just from biking in two months. And they feel, some of them have uh, changed their way of eating, some of them are more active in their spare time, some of them feel in better shape already, um, some of them have more energy, and some of them have more mental energy, and some of them have other experiences. 
So what we did was to say uh, we had made a competition in the first round where if you use the bike four days a week and they told us how big a distance they had to work uh, when they signed up. So if you use your bike more than four days a week, you can win an e-bike at the end. So we give 10, when this first round is, is ending, we will give 10 bikes out as a gift and then we will have 90 left and we have made a new campaign for that. And the next time we will go only to people who use the bike back and forth to work. And even though we do not have gifts this time, almost 200 signed up for it. And they will be starting in September using the bike. So, and at the second time, it was very important for us to show that an e-bike is a normal bike just with an engine in the back. And because some of them was very mysterious about what is an e-bike? How do you put energy in it? Uh, and stuff like that. So our, our second brochure is trying to explain. It's, it's not that difficult. It's not big engineer work. Uh, it's very easy to use it. So do you have any questions? So what is the price difference of e-bike and the normal bike? Um, it's, more, it's more than double. It's more than and if you have two-third double depends on what you can get a bike a normal bike for the same price as a as an e-bike but you can also get them a lot cheaper and we thought ourselves that we choose a good brand because it was also e important for us that people had good experience with the with the bike and they should be our ambassadors to go tell the story to other people and make them make them try it or make them get the idea that they could buy one themselves. How many kilometers have you made with uh, Batsuri? Uh, four to fifty kilometers in one. Then you have to put... Um, four to five. Forty? Forty to fifty. Forty to fifty, yes. Flat, yeah. Not in Switzerland. <laughs> Maybe not. No. Depending on your weight, but, depending uh, on yeah, the wind. Yes. Yeah. But there are many things to yes. take into yes. account. If you pedal more, you yeah. Less power from the bike. Yeah. 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 And if you have, if you go faster than 25, it will be yourself that yeah. do all the yourself. work. Yeah. yeah. I've got one. <laughs> and How did you keep the person on the bicycle after the time period of testing? Could they buy it for a low price? No. Or no. Is there we way? are not allowed to. So they have to give it back, and then they can win. Yes. We have 10 that we will put in. In but the other ones, if they, would they will go back, back, and then will be used in this campaign. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what criteria you have fixed uh, to give the bikes uh, to the new people? Do you have any fixed criteria? Yes, they have to have more than five kilometers to work. Okay. They have to be uh, inhabitants in the municipality. Okay. Um, they have to be a car driver. Yeah. But again, there must be, with fulfilling this criteria, there must be thousands of people. Yes. But out of that, how can you choose uh, that number? Uh, they oh, signed up and then uh, we choose. They applied? For yeah, they applied. applied. You select them? Yeah, they applied in the internet. Mm -hmm. We had a, a, a formula at the internet that where they could apply and then we choose from them. Yeah. Have you been thinking of. Um, <laughs> have you been thinking of doing some program that uh, uh, citizens could buy those uh, bikes cheaper? Uh, no. Together with, with the manufacturer. We have, we had, um, we had. When we started this campaign out, it was an evening where the, all the shops were open at night, and uh, there we had two uh, bike shops standing out with us and showing people, so everyone who dropped by could try an e-bike. So. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you.